This waterfront home in Fort Lauderdale looks more like a luxury resort than a private residence. We had a great time not only designing this house, but uh, watching it get put together over the almost two years of construction that it took to build it. We call all of our projects our design babies because they really are you know, the result of love and passion that we put into what we do. This is paradise. We continue our tour with B&G Design Inc. of this contemporary Los Olas Isles dream home on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Why go on vacation when your backyard has everything you need to relax, sunbathe, and play in the water? The breathtaking views were the main reason the homeowners decided to relocate to Fort Lauderdale and build their dream home on this corner lot. And hello, I can see why. Interior designers and the husband and wife team behind B&G Design Inc, Brett Sugarman and Giselle Lor Sugarman, worked closely with their clients to fulfill their vision and create a home that delivers the ultimate in indoor and outdoor entertaining. We have a lot to see today, so let's begin our tour. This two-story, 9,500 square foot dream home has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and two powder rooms. This backyard, however, is out of this world, designed to entertain South Florida style. Giselle, Brett, welcome Hi. back to Sofa Home Project. Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> Absolutely. So I know it's hot, but this is the ultimate playground. Why so many people want to live in South Florida to begin with. So we can't complain too much, right? No, we can't. <laughs> we got a beautiful day today. We lucked out. Absolutely. And your design work is so gorgeous with this plus a 9,500 square foot home that we had to divide the tour into two episodes. So on last week's episode, we tore a little bit of the inside. Now we're going to tackle the outside because it looks like a resort. We love to bring that whole vacation feel into our client's residence. So let's discuss the pool because it's an infinity edge. It almost plays with your eye from the inside of the home when you're looking out. That was one of our trips. We, we were in this amazing resort in Mexico mm -hmm. and I saw this dark pool and it had kind of the coloration of that we were going for for, for this home and I said we have to get them to do a dark pool because it's like an optical illusion. It feels like the pool is the same color as the intercoastal waterways. So Burning to Cell, when the architect lays down a blueprint and it has a basic layout of what the outdoor space is going to look like, how do you come up with different uh, materials, surfaces, to make it all come together beautifully? Well, we think about the blend and the balance. Hard versus soft, cool versus warm, dark versus light. We used the consistency of materials so that things felt connected and it didn't get too... Too cold, right? Because yeah. sometimes when there's a lot of concrete or hard surfaces. Exactly. Or people are known to do a lot of white houses when they do contemporary homes. Mm -hmm. We're not known for cold, white homes. Um, we are known for the warmth that we bring into the spaces and the functionality and the cohesiveness from the inside, outdoors, and vice versa. And I love the fact that you created individual areas for entertaining. It really is the concept of creating outdoor rooms just like you do on the inside. When we're designing the exterior areas, um, we're always thinking about continuity between the interior and the exterior. So in terms of materials and finished palette, we wanted to have that flow. Well, I'll tell you what, there are so many beautiful areas that we can just uh, admire. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Let's okay, go. come on. Wow. Guys, is this even real right now? I know. <laughs> Somebody please pinch me. Please pinch me. Because this, this is completely surreal. It's a private residence, but yet I feel like I'm in a completely different world. That was the idea, bringing the fantasy home. The fantasy, I love that. It's a perfect description. So this cabana was part of the architectural plans, but you turned it into a completely unique experience with the finishes, the materials. And this big day bed here. Um, you know, instead of putting conventional furniture, right. we really wanted to create a, a deep lounge effect. Uh -huh. um, so we had this custom daybed made to coordinate with the other furniture, so it really all felt like part of the same suite. Mm -hmm. um, sweet, but, I like that. Yeah, yeah. it's a sweet Fantasy, suite. Fantasy, it's a suite. <laughs> all of the above. Absolutely. And this fabric, it's a performance fabric. So it's made out of solution dyed acrylic. Mm -hmm. uh, the sun can't hurt it. It really doesn't get dirty or it's easy to clean off. And yet it's You can hose soft. it down. Right. Exactly. Wow. Now this overlooks a beautiful seating area, which is not covered underneath the, 
the, the ceiling, if you will. Right, and it kind of feels like you're sitting almost in the middle of the pool. But remember, it's surrounded by water. You're not always lounging during the day. You're lounging at, uh, at night as well. I mean, you, the views are great also at night, and you have a different kind of feel. So you could put some candles out here, turn on the fireplace, and get a whole different feeling than daytime entertaining. And you mentioned the fireplace. It's a double-sided fireplace, but just the architectural detail of having that rectangular shape, you have a complete um, sight line to all of the entertaining spaces that out it here. kind of frames the view. It's almost like a picture frame. Yeah. I can just stare at that. Right, isn't it cool? I can just stare at your beautiful design work, guys. Thank you. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, we explore the more formal outdoor spaces that are perfect for entertaining al fresco. I'm Tack Renata with Florida Home Improvements, and we're going to look at how we were able to help this military family resolve their issues with their roof on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. This is the outdoor space that keeps on giving and giving, right? Yes, it does. <laughs> Joining us once again is Brett Sugarman and Giselle Lord Sugarman, the design duo behind B&G Designing. And from this perspective, Giselle, you were mentioning before, I can see how the water just continues into the actual intercoastal. Isn't it great? It feels yeah. like it keeps going. And the relaxing sound of the, of the bubbler back there, it's so relaxing. All right, so we already saw the beautiful cabana. I think that side of, of the patio is more for like the lounging, enjoying the pool. This feels more for like entertaining purposes, family get togethers, parties. Exactly. How did you come up with the furniture layout? We wanted to create this intimate gathering space. It's also a place where we have a television mounted up here above the fireplace. So this kind of de facto became uh, a focal point. I love the, the material around the facade of the fireplace. Is that the concrete? No, it's actually marble, and wow. it's got a rib texture to it. Wow, marble. Yeah. And the floors are marble too, just they a different are. finish. Different, different marble, different finish. Okay. And then this has got this grooved finish. Okay. Now, I've seen many outdoor furniture on the show, on Sofa Home Project. This is completely unique. It almost feels like a sofa you would find inside. Yeah, that's the trend today with outdoor furniture, is it's looking more and more like indoor furniture because of the uh, technology behind these solution dyed acrylic fabrics that really take the, the sun, they can get wet, they dry naturally. Mm -hmm. And we use this type of fabrics indoors when people have kids, pets, um, it's very durable, but it feels like indoor, it feels like a velvet. Yeah, now the scale of the coffee table to me is also perfect because everybody can still benefit from you know putting down a drink, even a secondary surface for, for eating, appetizers. Yeah, for herbs, yeah. Putting your feet up, because this is granite, so yeah. it's pretty in, much indestructible. Beautiful. The dining room, which is right behind us, it's adjacent to the kitchen and the dining areas inside the house, so mm -hmm. it's convenient to bring food in and out. And um, it's even a way that, because these doors pocket back and the house opens up, so there are times where you can even flow more easily inside and out and dine inside, dine outside if you have enough people and you don't feel separated. Right, and it's so perfect for entertaining. And then all the windows for obvious reasons are hurricane impact, correct? Yes. yes, they are. And a person that knows a lot about that is our own hurricane impact windows and doors expert, Tack Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. So let's see what he has for us today. And when we come back, we're gonna meet you inside and continue our tour. We were really excited when this family called us out to see if we can help them with their roofing needs. They were new homeowners and they recognized shortly after they moved in that they had an area that was leaking. We showed them a lot of different products, a lot of different materials, and they ultimately decided with the Integrity Roofing System. What drew them to the Integrity Roofing System was not only the materials that were being used with all the underlayments involved and making sure that all the lumber was included, but they also wanted to make sure that they were fully guaranteed and would never have to do the roof again. So the installation is going on now. I know they made a great decision and they're going to love how everything turns out. So Jasmine, we really appreciate you having us out and trying to help you with this decision. What was the big things for you and what were some of the things that you were thinking about and recognizing that you needed to do when you wanted to change out the roof? Uh, we definitely had a small leak that was a concern and the roof's already been at the end of its life so we didn't want to wait till it was completely over so 
Having you guys come out was important to us and getting it done. We purchased in May and as soon as rainy season hit, we definitely noticed it had to be done now. You ultimately decided on a great roofing system. You, you chose the Integrity Roofing System. Yes. Uh, what were some of the bigger reasons on why you decided to go with that roofing system? Uh, we liked that it gave us that breather on the top of our roof for ventilation so that it doesn't get hot in the house. We liked that the longevity of it and the life of it. We like that the system that we went with was able to just withstand hurricane winds and you know give us the protection we need. Everyone wants a really good installation and the guys are doing a fantastic job. But equally as important is making sure that we maintain the safety for the family while we're working. And covering the pool and taking care of the patio is a real important part of the process. We want to ensure that none of the roofing materials end up in the swimming pool. So we really took the time to make sure this area was kept safe and clean during the installation. It was great meeting with Jasmine today. The roof looks like it's going along perfectly. The installation is going to be done in no time and she's going to be really happy with how everything turns out. Coming up next, we take in more of the breathtaking waterfront views from the inside of the stream home. Back to Sofla Home Project. This home was truly designed with entertaining in mind because as we saw with the exterior spaces, the outside flows in and vice versa. And once again, another breathtaking view from this family room area. In the center of the first floor, we find the family room. It's perfect for gathering and watching television in a more casual, elegant setting. We saw on last week's show the more formal space on the opposite side of the, the TV wall. Now this is a bit more casual but yet elegant. But I love how the TV wall on this side just creates a very unique and, and elegant divider between the two spaces. Yeah, we tried to make it as sculptural on both sides as possible. Mm -hmm. And of course you still continue with the same color palette. Yeah, the, the, the spaces are all open to each other right. even though we have this dividing wall with the TV on one side and the fireplace on the other. Everything is visible from multiple angles and you want continuity. You know what I appreciate even more from this perspective is how the exterior ties in with the interior, but even the scale of the furniture is almost in perfect balance with what we just saw outside before the commercial break. Well, I'm glad you noticed those details. You know, a, a, a humongous yeah. coffee table in terms of the scale, yeah. which is important for this room too. Yeah, it really grounds it. And the reason for the different levels? If you'll notice, the center section is in a high gloss finish, which is a little bit more delicate. Yeah. And we kept that kind of away from your everyday use. The, the lower section here is in a more of a matte finish, which is more forgiving. Mm -hmm. So this is where you put your feet up, you'd set down a drink, you'd put down a snack, and up here you'd display things that, let's say, don't get touched as much. Really just come together beautifully in, yeah, in a we, piece. We try to think of all the details. Love the sectional. It's a leather outdoor fabric combination, so it wears really well. And then, you know, the throw pillows are very decorative mm -hmm. and it gets used a lot by the family. You can almost fall asleep on the couch. It's very comfortable, it's functional, and you know, at the end of the day, a family's living here. So you wanna make sure that even the tactile fabrics are something that are very enveloping. So let's talk about the ceiling. Again, another architectural detail. We created these overlapping planes for visual interest and also with recesses to house uh, indirect LED lighting. Mm -hmm. If you look up at the gray mirror, you see a cool effect. It looks like the ceiling continues through in a symmetrical manner, which it actually does, but that space is blocking your view of it. However, the mirror gives you the impression that you're seeing all the way through. Right, more depth. Oh. Yeah. And who thought about that? Was that just so, or was that you? No, that, I gotta give Brett the credit. <laughs> I gotta give Brett the credit when it comes to the ceiling and the lighting design. Yeah. Um, we definitely collaborate in everything we do, and you know, again, traveling and, and seeing the world together really helps. We always yeah. talk about the connection between the interiors and the architecture. They're not two separate things. Right. They're not empty vanilla boxes with just furniture plopped in them. Everything is connected and intersects like and slices. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So how much do you love these columns? They're like works of art. They are, and it was something that was structural that mm -hmm. we needed to encase in something beautiful. And I think it really grounds the space. Well, they're like beautiful partitions. They are. I mean, they're structural, they, they have to be there, but the way mm -hmm. you disguise them, if you will, dress mm -hmm. them up, 
they just um, really enhance the overall style. And actually, one of them is structural, the other one is completely decorative, but okay. we deliberately placed it there to create a sense of balance Got it. and a little bit of kind of like an entryway. Right, that makes perfect sense. So let's talk a little bit about the dining space because it ties in together with the rest of the, of the flow in, of the home. One of the tricks we did is, since everything was so linear, the light fixture being kind of an organic form and made out of hand-blown uh, glass gives that more flowing feeling. We also wanted to create a sense of separation mm -hmm. uh, without enclosure. Without so walls, that, right? So that's, that's what that, that buffet does as it kind of bridges from wall to the column, is mm -hmm. it tells you, okay, this is a separate space, but you're not like in a private room, you're not isolated from the action that's going on. Right. So the kitchen, mm -hmm. I mean, you can't miss it. It is front and center, but it is so beautiful and it has so many features and, and just um, conveniences for your clients. So we're going to see that space as soon as we come back. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. For the past two weekends, we've had the privilege of exclusive access to this waterfront dream home designed by the dream team behind B&G Designing, Giselle and Brett. So we know that every home needs a kitchen, right? Yes. And this one is nothing less than spectacular. Thank you. This kitchen truly has it all, including a butler's pantry, high-end appliances, and hidden storage. When you're dealing with a high-end, you know, luxury kitchen, it needs to have all the bells and whistles because I see double ovens, I see coffee stations. I think that's a warming station too, right? For yep. to keep... There's two warming drawers. Wow. They have a teppanyaki here too, built into the countertop, which is really nice for wow. stir fry and pancakes and yeah. kind of like a built-in griddle. We got two sinks. We have um, three dishwashers. Two it's in hard the, to keep track, right? Yeah, three, <laughs> three. Two in the main and one in the in the butler's pantry. Right. I mean, it really has everything uh, that you can want. We want it to look beautiful um, and inviting and always functional. And again, uh, repetition of, of different materials and surfaces mm -hmm. that we saw throughout the rest of the home. Mm -hmm. For example, the, the wood. Would it be a banquette, a waterfall edge counter? What would you call it? Right, well, it's a waterfall edge yeah. counter. This mm -hmm. is kind of like the breakfast counter for a quick uh, coffee right. yeah. or, or a quick meal. We tried to keep the palette similar to the rest of the house, but the materials are a little different. In the kitchen here, we have a high gloss Italian lacquer uh, in white and also in the cement color, which plays off of the tonalities that we use for the wood. Um, so it feels connected, but it's not an exact match. I feel like it's a little lighter and fresher, and that's what the client really wanted, was something a little bit fresher, so the white is clean, it's crisp. Absolutely. We're also using this beautiful uh, Kalakata marble on the backsplashes only because it's a delicate material. On the countertops, we used a, a white quartz, which is more forgiving. They complement each other, um, but this is definitely more functional. Absolutely. Now, the two-tone cabinetry, mm -hmm. how, how do you decide as interior designers what piece gets the darker tone, which wall to do completely in one color as opposed to dividing it up? Well, from, from our perspective, we pick the darker color to kind of ground things okay. so that it feels a little bit more rooted and base uh, and the lighter color up top as opposed to the other way around, which would make it feel top heavy to our eye. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the full height cabinetry behind us, which goes from the ground up, is in the darker color. Mm -hmm. With this open floor plan, mm -hmm. the kitchen being the heart of the home, needs to be as beautiful as the rest of the elements that we created. Um, I love the fact that they have this like concealed butler's pantry. It has a, another dishwasher, sink, a whole nother area where you could put kind of the things you don't want to see when you're entertaining more formally. Right. We incorporated a lot of concealed storage. One of the things that I personally love being a mom and also having a dog is this concealed um, walk-in pantry. So it's the same finish, same cabinetry as the rest of the kitchen, mm -hmm. but you would never know it's there. It's like a secret room, I it love is. it. So you know we're in a kitchen, but it doesn't look like a typical kitchen. It just blends beautifully with the rest of your design. Thank you. Thanks. The project was really special to us. Um, not only because it was the third time that we've worked with this client uh, who trusted us with this, you know, creating their new home and, and augmenting their new lifestyle, 
um, but just because of the artistic license that we were granted. We're very proud of this project. You know, we'll be on our boats and you know, ride by and see them enjoying the outdoor space. And I mean, nothing is more gratifying to us than seeing our clients utilize the space the way we imagined it. Giselle and Brett, thank you again for giving us access to this gorgeous home. Thank I you. can see why thank it truly you. is a dream home for your clients. Thank you for being on Sofla Home Project. Thank Not you for having you. us. And we look forward to seeing you once again in the future. Yes. All right. Yes. To all the viewers, we thank you for watching. We'll see you again next weekend here on Sofla Home Project, only on Local 10. See you next weekend. If you missed any part of this makeover or you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You can also submit your own design disasters and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, we get ready for back to school the only way we know how with the stylish dorm room makeover at Nova Southeastern University.